You see them standing and cruising across the water all across the Sun Coast. Stand up paddle boarding is hugely popular here. And Rob Alfieri from SUP Sarasota is here to give us some tips before we hit the water. All How right. popular has this become? Well, it's, it's, it's totally blown up. I remember when I first moved to Sarasota a long time ago, uh, I would drive around town and, and I had a board on the top of my yeah. car and people, what is that? that yeah. That's bigger than a surfboard. Where'd yeah. you get that? And they thought I was kind of weird being out sure. on Lido, kind of sure. paddling around. All the surfers would look at me, kind of like, give me strange faces. <laughs> mm -hmm. But now you go downtown, you go anywhere near the Keys, you, you see, see boards everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And just as an indication, when I first started paddling, there's probably maybe four or five stand-up paddleboard manufacturers. And you brought a couple of different yeah, boards. Yeah, a couple okay. different boards. Now there's about 145 different manufacturers <sighs> across the world. So yeah. it's ab absolutely exploded. Exploded. Well, I, we were driving onto um, St. Armand's, and usually we would see windsurfers, mm -hmm. like in the 90s and in mm -hmm. the early, you'd, all, you'd see windsurfers. And now that is totally gone, yeah. and it's been replaced by paddleboarders, and there are paddleboarders so everywhere. Well, I, I think it has a lot to do with the area. Uh, and that's why it's kind of blown up in the Tampa Bay area, and especially here in Sarasota. It's the accessibility of being able to find flat places where you can mm -hmm. go. And you can, you can basically you go to Bird Key, you can go to Lido, you can go to the Mangroves, Turtle Beach, mm -hmm. uh, Nathan Benderson Park, okay. and you can pull up with the board on your car, take it off, walk 20, 30 feet, and, in. and be in flat, shallow water. And that's really because people yeah. kind of get intimidated with number one waves, sure. right. and they get intimidated when it's deep water. Sure. So, so show us how we do this. Because I'm intimidated. Okay. I, I've never I've, done this. We've uh, never done yes. this, and we want to. So if, if you can basically stand up you, anywhere, <laughs> you, you can stand up on a board. Hey, we're in. And, we're and, in. And, 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 and the smaller the boards, the more balance maybe you need to have. Okay. But okay. for the most part, and, and, and how I usually teach people when I'm out on the water is, is first we always start on our knees. Okay. So what I would do is if it was the first time in the water, okay. um, well, you'd probably it. take the board out to about knee deep water. Okay. And then you're going to step where you have your knees on either side. And if you notice, uh, each one of the boards, they, they, they have a hand. Uh, kind okay. of a handle. Okay. That is actually the center of gravity for your board. Okay. So that's where you want to put your knees, that's where you want to stand. Okay. So what you're going to do is, at first you're just going to go out on the water and you're just kind of get used to the balance of the water and kind of move around and see how the board is on the water. And then you're going to grab your paddle and you can kind of choke down on the paddle, Kelly. Okay. All right, now this is the biggest tip for you guys so you guys don't look like amateurs when you're out there on yeah, the water. I'm watching out. Is <laughs> to ma make sure that you have the front of the paddle or where the logo is oh, out, out in front. Okay. Okay. It has like okay. a little scoop. It, right. it has yeah. a little Not bit of scoop. Right. right, so this is the biggest thing if you want to look like a pro. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> turn that's the paddle the, the right turn way. Turn the paddle okay. the right way is probably a good thing, right? Okay. Advertise. So, so what right. you want to do is just get used to the board, and if the, if the paddle is on the left side, you want to have your left side on the bottom. So you're going to switch your, your hands exactly hand. right, okay. and you're going to paddle straight back. And then you're going to go until kind of the board turns, and you're going to switch hands, and you're going to have your right hand on the other oh, side. Okay. And just get used to doing that, and also kind of stopping and turning around. Okay. So you get to feel like you can maneuver the board. You're not ever out of control. Okay. okay. It's like a canoe. You can rudder. So from you can rudder, exactly. From here, how do we get dandy? So you're going to do, do almost like a push-up position, and then you're okay. going to go one, two, up. Okay, with a little bit of a knee bend. Okay. Now the main thing, when everybody does this, they, they try to do a balancing act on the sure. board. The first thing you want to do is get your paddle into, into the water. The water. Oh, because once down. your paddle is in the water, you can actually put a lot of weight on that paddle. Okay. So it, it, it's basically balancing you when your paddle's in the water. The only time you're not balanced is when your paddle's out of the water. Oh. Okay. So it's a really good idea to always keep, I always tell people, keep paddling, keep paddling. That looks sure. really easy on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I, I, We're I, I, feeling I, I, very confident and, at this point. Yeah. And you brought, the, we have some, we have some stuff here that yeah. we, we should take with us. Right. Yeah, tell so, us about the law and flotation devices. So in Florida, the law is you have to have a, a PFD or a personal flotation device on your board at all times. Okay. That's the law. And if you see on these boards, I also have leashes on the yeah. boards as well. So float away. Um, I've actually had professional paddleboard friends and races um, that, that passed away, being out on the water oh. in, in very, very uh, extreme conditions and didn't have a PFD and didn't have a leash and the, fell off the board, board got Lost separated, 
Yeah. Drown. Right. Okay, so you tether yourself oh, no. to the board. Yep. And you mentioned, and I think this is interesting, you have to have a personal flotation device on the board, not on your body. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. a lot of boards will have uh, kind, of, uh, um, kind of rope on the front of it, mm -hmm. um, kind of bungee cord. And so as long as you have the PFD on the bungee cord, you're legally compliant. Okay. okay. Um, these that I have with us go we right around. It. I feel like they I would wear them. Like kind of like a fanny yeah. pack, right? Yeah. You, you can I put your, your keys, your, yeah, your phone, stuff like that in there. Isn't it like riding a bike and not wearing your helmet and having the helmet back there? Right, what's that to do? Right. On your body is always a good thing. Yeah. Okay. And but then, I, of course, you can bring necessities out with yeah. you, which is a good idea that. in this heat. You can put alcohol Absolutely. in that. No, right. well, you're <laughs> Says I'm the just fitness I'm expert, just I'm falling <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a typical camelback. Uh, when you're going to be on the water, usually you're spending a lot of time on there. Yeah. You want to make yeah. sure you're hydrated. Yeah. This is a really great to do it. And I always throw um, some extra stuff in there. I always throw my sunscreen in there just to make sure I don't run out. Yep. Um, it's just like anything else. You're, I like this. Just like you're voting. You're out of the too. water. It's going to be hot. Heat. So yeah. It's it's. Uh, it, I've learned a lot today. I can't wait to try I it. I know. Me too. SUP Sarasota leads tours and events throughout the year. You can learn more at their website. And next, we're getting in touch with our inner artists and our inner animals. <laughs> that could be <laughs> scary. <laughs> <laughs>